Hello, today is April 3rd. It's also Friday in the week when we prepare for the celebration of the Passion Sunday, Palm Sunday. So it's Passion Week as well. Next week will be Holy Week. And we are in a very difficult situation, but not one that uh, isn't one that we can not only survive, but thrive if we continue to work together. Hi, I'm Monsignor Stuart Swetland. I'm the president of Donnelly College. And it, these are difficult circumstances, but we know that as a community, we will be stronger as we go forward. Just a few days ago, we started classes in a different modality. Almost all of our classes now are online, and students have been this week uh, getting together either virtually or at different times with their professors one-on-one -on -one, to continue the educational apostolate they're involved in. We're happy that so many work so hard and uh, so well to put, make this possible for everyone to be online simultaneously. We will continue this mode of operation until the end of this semester and unfortunately, we'll have to delay our graduation, but we look forward to still celebrating the successes, the many successes, of our wonderful graduates. During this time when we're working in a different modality because of the pandemic, my first concern for all of you is that you stay safe physically. Follow all the Center for Disease Control, that's the CDC's recommendations, and our local government recommendations when it comes to the pandemic. Wash your hands. Keep proper social distance. Follow the prudential judgment when it comes to your own health, especially if you're having any of the symptoms associated with the COVID-19 virus. We have just a skeleton staff here at Donnelly to keep the college functioning. Our professors and many of our staff are working remotely, though, to continue all the services we can bring to you. So if you need any help at all, please reach out to us. You can call us, you can email us, uh, you can send your questions to us. Um, the uh, relevant uh, way of doing that, if questions that you want to send uh, for me to answer this way, would be to send them to advancement uh, at, at donnelly.edu. That's advancement at donnelly.edu. I'm happy to say that each and every day I'm on a phone call with uh, the, the mayor here in Kansas City, Kansas, and many of the first responders and the hospitals, the healthcare workers, the other educational institutions, the police, to make sure that we're getting the latest information so we can continue to operate as an essential service safely, prudently, and wisely. But in addition to physical health, and on one level even more important than one's physical health, is one's spiritual health. We believe here at Donnelly College it's very important that we can stay connected to God and through God with one another. We worship God in different ways with different beliefs, but as a Catholic college, a Catholic college that believes very much that each person is created in the image and likeness of God, we want you during this difficult time to turn to the Lord, each in your own way. I'm very moved and uh, helped my hope is increased by Romans 8.28. We know that all things work together for good, for those that love God and are called according to his purpose. I'm not sure this is how I wanted the semester uh, to end. Matter of fact, I know for certain it isn't how I wanted the semester to come to a conclusion. But I do know that if we remain faithful to our vocation, we keep doing what it is that God's calling us to do, that we can be confident that all things will work together for good. It doesn't mean it will work out like we want it to, but it will work together for good. And Pope Francis had said something similar recently in his very moving, last Friday, a week uh, ago today, he said uh, very movingly to the world when he was blessing the world from an empty St. Peter's Square. He said, and I quote, The Lord asks us in the midst of our tempest, invites us, to reawaken and put into practice that solidarity and hope capable of giving strength, support, and meaning to these hours when everything seems to be floundering. The Lord awakens so as to reawaken and revive our Easter faith. We have an anchor. By his cross we have been saved. 
We have a rudder. By his cross we have been redeemed. We have a hope. By his cross we have been healed and embraced so that nothing and no one can separate us from his redeeming love. As an ex-naval officer, I love the Navy illusions. This anchor has always been a Christian symbol for hope. And right now, Donnelly is anchored in the hope that comes to us from God. We know we'll get through this. We'll know actually at the end of this, if we're faithful, we'll all be in a better place. And together, we'll come together again as a community to celebrate and to serve one another. Keep safe. God bless you.